No, 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 I'm losing control. Ever since I started making YouTube videos, I've always dreamt of being able to create cinematic drone shots. I've seen all these creators elevate their storytelling by capturing these amazing moments from the sky. And I've always thought that a drone was way out of my budget until I came across a low budget beginner drone by DJI. I instantly ordered it and two days later, it arrived. <laughs> Today's the day. Actually, a package just came in the mail. It's something that I've been waiting so long for. Uh, it's actually my first drone that I've ever bought. It's the DJI Mini SE. Uh, I haven't opened it yet. Actually, I took a little sneak peek to just unwrap the drone to kind of see what it looks like, but I haven't really set anything up. I've never touched a drone in my entire life. I'm not gonna walk you through. I'm just gonna unbox it, see what's in there, and then try to take it for my first flight and see if I can do anything with a drone because I've never done anything before. All right, so let's see if we can get more of a close-up look here. You see the DJI Mini SE? So excited to see if I can actually do it. Woohoohoo! Hello! All right, so this is the drone itself. Pretty small, a lot smaller than, smaller than I expected, actually. All these come out. Oh, they go backwards. That's sick. Wow, this is insane. This little thing. All right, enough about that. How am I supposed to fly this though? There's no sticks. Where's the screen? Oh, you. I think you use your phone. Ah, ah, secret, secret. The, the joysticks are hidden inside here. So I got halfway through the instruction manual and it was just too little text, too boring. Uh, so I'm gonna try to set this up myself and see what happens. Apparently there's an app, a DJA Fly app that you use. Okay, so let's try to enter the app. Ooh, connection guide. I have the cheapest, smallest DJI drone there is. Short press and then press again to power on. Whoa. All right, it's obviously doing something, so I'm just gonna let it beep here. All you are gonna head down to the local campus and uh, try to get some sick drone shots around, maybe go downtown a little bit. There are some zone restrictions, but I'm gonna try to get uh, as good shots as I can get. Let's go. Right, that wraps up my first day as an official drone pilot and I do have one confession to make actually late at night I was gonna do um, a flight at night to kind of see the how the city looked when it was dark and right outside my house I was gonna take off the drone and I didn't know it was in sport mode which is basically it's very sensitive to any movement and it goes really, really fast. And I actually ran it straight into my wall. I was getting a little cocky. Like I felt like I had this going after a full day of like flying. So if you actually take a look here, um, when it ran into the wall in sport mode, this whole wing broke off. And I thought that's it. That's all the money I've spent. I got one day of fun for $300, but I did manage to fix it kind of but it works. I went to Walmart and I bought Gorilla Glue and I don't know if you can see it here that I kind of just glued the wing together. So it was one of the screws that kind of broke off and I glued it back together and I let it sit overnight and it actually works pretty well. I took it out for a new flight today and it's pretty stable. I, I will say it's 90% of what, what it was capable of doing before, but I've been watching other people fly drones across YouTube and it's just one of those things that you have to expect, right? When you try to fly through tight spaces or you try to do some new moves like 
crashing drones is is just a part of the game right but all in all i am extremely happy with this purchase it's been a while since i felt this much joy doing something uh, new which is which is amazing one of the things that i already miss in this drone um probably because it's so cheap uh, or cheap is that uh, it doesn't have any zoom on the camera it doesn't shoot in 4k uh, it doesn't have any auto flight so it can follow up like an objective like fly around it follow it and the only sensors it has is right underneath when it's trying to land or it comes close to something and a lot of other drones have sensors on the side uh, kind of like to avoid obstacles it also is pretty small so it's pretty sensitive to wind at the end of the day it was a bunch of wind so it kind of like just kept beeping like telling me to land it uh, because it was getting like thrown around but all in all i'm really happy with this purchase i'm going to continue to fly continue to prove my skills and continue to shoot drone videos to tell better stories for this channel now i really hope you enjoyed this video uh, if you want me to create more videos uh, with the drone please let me know in the comments also if you're not subscribed which you probably aren't because i have like 10 subscribers feel free to just hit that subscribe button it would mean the world to me as I'm just starting out. But I just love creating videos and I love telling stories. And at the end of the day, that's, that's what matters, right? What you love doing. So without further ado, stay happy. Peace.